Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know, an opportunity for us to listen to God together. First, let's hear from the Bible. Hebrews chapter 5, verses 8 and 9. Even though Jesus was God's son, he learned obedience from the things he suffered. In this way, God qualified him as a perfect high priest, and he became the source of eternal salvation for all those who obey him. The high priest was the most important person in the Jewish faith. He traced his family line back to Aaron, the brother of Moses, and his life and ministry are described in huge detail in the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible. When he went into the temple, he had to wear specific clothing. In common with all priests, he had to wear priestly undergarments, a tunic, sash and turban, and in addition, he wore a sleeveless blue robe, a richly embroidered apron, a breastplate with 12 gems representing the tribes, and on his turban there was a golden plate inscribed with the words, Holiness unto Yahweh. He would have nothing on his feet, but had to have a ceremonial bath before going into the temple. Just once a year, on the Day of Atonement, he was permitted to go into the holiest part of the temple, the Holy of Holies. The writer to the Hebrews knew that his readers would have known all about high priests and of their huge importance in Jewish life and history. But now he declares that in Jesus, God had sent someone who outshone them all. However good a high priest was, they were not perfect. However, in Jesus, the Son of God, they had been sent someone who had no sin and so was able to do what the high priests could never do. Jesus could open the door of eternal salvation through taking the sins of the world upon himself. To us, the language of high priesthood belongs to a very different world from our own. But the message is absolutely one for us today. We need someone to open the door into the holy presence of God, and it is Jesus who's done precisely that. And just as Jesus obeyed his Father's will, so too we are called to live in obedience to God. Unlike Jesus, we will not achieve perfect obedience in this life, but as we seek to align our thoughts and actions with God's will day by day, we learn more of what it is to be truly alive. Let me pray with you. Loving God, we thank you that in Jesus we have a perfect high priest who can continually lead us into your holy presence. Amen. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day and that you'll join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. <laughs>